this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week I checked out Paradise City and this 2022 film was directed by Chuck Russell and stars Bruce Willis, John Travolta and Amber Abra among others of course. The story of this movie is that Bruce Willis is a bounty hunter, you know, tracking down people who skip out on their bonds. And so he is tracking down this one criminal and he is supposedly killed during their interaction. Then his son comes to Hawaii, which is where he was operating, and teams up with another bounty hunter to figure out what happened to Bruce Willis and hopefully get some justice along the way. What will happen though? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss this movie. Well, this is a geezer teaser movie. So, you know, it has these older actors before they retire. But this one, it has Bruce Willis. And I think he's officially retired now. I think he was diagnosed with aphasia, which has to deal with like your ability to speak. And this one, he speaks fine. He's very clear. He's doing some acting as well. And he's even doing action scenes sometimes with like firing guns and whatnot. And so he, I think, does a good job, especially compared to what I've heard about his other movies where he like needs an earpiece and that type of stuff. But this one, no, he's enjoying himself. It looks like, you know, he's in Hawaii as well. And so he's probably just enjoying, you know, the sun and the nice weather. Other than that, you know, John Travolta is in this one and he's getting up there in age as well. And he plays his character just like he does his, uh, I think it's called Battlefield Earth, his character in that one. Some lines he says kind of very much reminded me of Battlefield Earth. And so that's okay as well. The supporting cast, I think, does a good job. They definitely step in when they need to and, you know, fulfill their rules and that type of stuff. So, yeah, all of the acting was pretty good. Other than that, you know, I always enjoy seeing beautiful Hawaii. It's definitely a very cool, you know, scenery type of thing. And I don't know, it just makes it kind of like a warm kind of vacation feel to the whole movie. So that I would say is definitely a positive. I've never actually been to Hawaii. Maybe one day I can go and get that Hawaiian sun on my skin. But as it stands, you know, I have to go there through the movie. So that was definitely enjoyable. Also, I thought the story was entertaining enough, you know, with these characters, you want to see them succeed in their goal. And there's a few twists and turns here and there that you might see or might not see coming. And so all of that stuff, you know, helps you get into it. With Bruce Willis, he's not, you know, in the story too much. He kind of supposedly dies in the beginning. And so he has like flashback scenes and that type of stuff. But I don't really think he's like the heart of this one. I do think it's the supporting cast that's much more kind of the heart of this story. And yeah, you just kind of root for them and, and want to see what happens in the end. So all of that kind of story stuff definitely makes it an easy watch. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, it is a B-movie, so it has those B-movie things in it. With this one, I think there's a few scenes that go on a little bit too long. It's mostly, you know, they're talking about evidence or their plan and how it works into their, you know, overall plan. And so they could have kind of shortened those scenes, I think. They could have probably also used a few more action scenes as well. As it stands, there's like one at the beginning and middle and end. And yeah, they could have used a few more or even like a car chase or something. So that also could have been improved upon. What else can I say? I don't know. It kind of seemed like an excuse for Bruce Willis to go to Hawaii and have a little bit of a vacation. Maybe even John too. But, you know, he is retiring, so why not have a vacation? I think this is probably one of his better last films. I did want to check out whatever his last one is just to see what it's like. I think Leo sent me one of his other films, so I'll probably check that one out as well. But as it stands, you know, Bruce Willis has brought so many people joy over the years. It's sad to see he's retiring, but at the same time, very understandable. So yeah, I wish him luck. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I know Bruce Willis has a bunch of movies out there right now of varying qualities from what I hear. And from the impressions I get, this might be one of the better ones. So if you do want to see Bruce Willis in one of his last movies, this is probably going to be a good bet for you. As for rating, well, I thought it was pretty okay. So I'm going to give it the okay score of four. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.